Hey everybody, happy Labor Day. It's your buddy, OC Steve, uh, with a breaking hockey development. A uh, longtime uh, player for the Los Angeles Kings, Justin Williams, announced today officially uh, this statement on behalf of him being the captain for the upcoming season for the Carolina Hurricanes. This is the time in my life that I have felt unsure of my aspirations with the regards of the sport of hockey. For as long as I can remember, my whole off-season point has been hockey and doing what is necessary to prepare for the upcoming season. Because of my current indecision and without any type of mental or physical commitment that I'm accustomed to having, I have decided to step away from the game. I'll also, he mentioned, it's important for me to focus on the attention is the current very talented group of Carolina Hurricane teammates that we've assembled as they prepare to build on the momentum and growth we've established in the last season. Um, this is kind of leaving the door open for Justin. Um, uh, you know, we saw a couple years ago where Mike Fisher announced uh, a similar retirement only to see the Nashville Predators go to the playoffs and him to rejoin the team uh, shortly after that. Um, me personally, as a fan, I have witnessed Justin Williams um, on the Los Angeles Kings compete for two Stanley Cups, and I think he was a driving force in that locker room. He knew when to turn on and have fun and have a good time and build camaraderie with the team, but when he knew it was time to get serious, uh, he would get down to brass tacks, and you could tell he led by example in his offensive caliber. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that I truly miss him being a member of the Los Angeles Kings team. Uh, he was Mr. Game 7. He led by example. He got everybody in line and they got focused, laser focused. Um, without his efforts in 2014, I really doubt the Los Angeles Kings would have made it so far and won so many Game 7 decisions to win the Stanley Cup playoffs. He was definitely worth giving the Colin Smythe to. In my mind, he was one of the more valuable players. Uh, I hope whatever Justin decides to do ultimately this season, the Kings do the right thing by Justin. Um, in my mind, without a shadow of a doubt, he deserves to have number 14 retired up at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, as well uh, with the um, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, that being said, thank you for your commitment, Justin. Thank you for your time. Thank you for always taking it seriously when you needed to, but taking six and letting your hair down or up or not even done at all for that matter if you saw some of the photos with uh, the washington capitals uh, when he was a part of them for a minute so just personally as a fan thank you for making the sport of hockey that much better and being a part of it whatever you decide to do know that you have made fans and we will support you in your endeavors moving forward so thanks again. Um, just wanted to provide that update. I hope everybody's having a good Labor Day, and I'm looking forward to the upcoming season. Hopefully, maybe some of the younger players on the Los Angeles Kings take away that air of grit and determination and knowing when to have fun and team building uh, if they got anything from Justin's tenure on the Los Angeles Kings. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, and please subscribe to my channel as I will be covering more geeky related news, more professional wrestling, and all things LA Kings. So with that said, go Kings go.